over the years, I've had my share of trolls on my channel. And not so much trolls that span the whole gamut of subject matter. Primarily, most of my trolls come from a martial arts point of view and really about Bruce Lee mainly. And uh, it's interesting to me, and I've come to the conclusion, how adamant some people are about trying to disprove the credibility of Bruce Lee. And uh, I've come to the conclusion that most of the people that are trolling, not just my channel, but other channels that may uh, talk about Bruce Lee's greatness and his legacy in martial arts, these are people who are not well educated in the martial arts at all, or there are people who have been in the martial arts for a very short time, or there are they are people that who lived, they lived around the time that Bruce Lee was living and they feel as though they've never achieved the success and or greatness that Bruce Lee did. So they're very, very jealous of the man. And then there's the modern day guys, you know, especially in the mixed martial arts arena, who honestly don't respect greatness because it was yesteryears so to speak and it's not someone that they can recognize or acknowledge and give credibility to in today's time in 2020 2021 22 and now this is 2023 they're smelling themselves as the old folks used to say you're smelling yourself you're too full of yourself so i just wanted to point some things out in brevity and I'll say this, none of us in today's time as I'm speaking to you right now would be enjoying the martial arts on the level that we are had it not been for Bruce Lee. Now that's not to say that no one else contributed to the greatness of martial arts throughout our time and before, but in the 20th and the 21st century there are some people who just simply stand out. And he was one of the ones at the top. And he helped to enhance a lot of people's position in martial arts. And he helped to boost the careers and even start careers of prospective martial arts uh, practitioners, practitioners and actors, as it were. And I just wanted to look at my list real quick. Because some people know that Bruce Lee helped them get to where they are today. And they wouldn't be where they are today had it not been for Bruce Lee. It's really just that simple. For example, when Bruce Lee died, there was a Bruce Lee look-alike contest. And I was a teenager when that happened. They spanned the globe trying to find someone to look like Bruce Lee who could mimic him. But then came all of the Bruce Lee look-alike movies, the Dragon Lees and the Bruce Lies and the Bruce Lays and so forth. Everybody wanted to be like Bruce Lee, not because he was an actor, but because he was who he was, a great martial artist. An example was Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, he was a stunt man did all of his stunts. He began to act in martial arts films along with Sammo Hung. And you know, those guys' career catapulted after Bruce Lee. True story. And what about Jet Li? Well, we had known about Jet Li in the West as we do today had it not been for Bruce Lee. Not saying that he was not a great martial artist or a wushu practitioner but he owed his success worldwide to Bruce Lee what about Bolo Bolo Young his real name is Yang Zi just in case you didn't know and Bolo was his screen name in 
into the dragon so that's just something that just followed him throughout his career what about Angela Mao Angela Mao played Bruce Lee's sister in Enter the Dragon she had many films along with uh, her co-star at the time rest in peace Jung Ri Korean Taekwondo master when Taekwondo Strikes was the name of it, or Sting of the Dragon Masters was another name of that same film. She had Lady Kung Fu, Lady Hermit, if you will, and of course she played uh, his sister in Enter the Dragon. Her career was catapulted just by Bruce Lee becoming popular, as he was. And what about Jim Kelly? God rest his soul. Jim Kelly? Jim Dragon? Kelly after his movie Into the Dragon with Bruce Lee he went on to make Black Belt Jones Hot Potato Tattoo Connection, Three to Hard Way, One Down Two to Go and so forth he gave Bruce Lee his credit when he was living Jim Kelly did and I applaud him for that because there's not many people who came up around that time who wanted to give Bruce Lee his due his just due what about Ron Van Cleef? Black Dragon. Would he have been popular? Would he have been in the movies had it not been for Bruce Lee's era? Ron Van Cleef. Ron the Dragon Van Cleef. And he's still kicking today. And doing even uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. What about Steven Seagal? There was an era that came along not too long there afterwards. Steven Seagal introduced Aikido on the screen. We didn't know what Aikido was on the level that we did until Out for Justice, Mark for Death, those types of movies came out by Steven Seagal when he, he was much thinner, of course. And what about John claude Van Damme and his kickboxer and his blood sport? We didn't know who he was. All of these people piggybacked after Bruce Lee. One era after another era. What about Sho Kasugi? Ninjutsu, Ninja, that became popular in the 80s after the 70s when Bruce Lee had passed away. What about Bob Wall? Bob Wall, one of Bruce Lee's students and Chuck Norris's students as well. Bob Wall gave credit to Bruce Lee before he passed away. Rest his soul. And uh, Chuck Norris. What about Chuck Norris? Did he ever give Bruce Lee his true credit or did he always want to equate himself to Bruce Lee and be on the same level as Bruce Lee I'm sorry I just, I just had to say that but Chuck Norris got his start I looked at a snippet of one of Chuck Norris's films uh, in 1968 The Wrecking Crew that was his beginning in film nothing to write home about a very very amateur fight scene for just a few seconds but he got his start with Bruce Lee Way of the Dragon also called Return of the Dragon had it not been for Bruce Lee we would not know who Chuck Norris is this day not at all I'm sorry what about Dan and Asanto Dan and Asanto is one of Bruce Lee's highest ranking students in the system of Jeet Kune Do still living I wish him many more successful in productive years as he's probably semi-retired right now I have a great deal of respect for Dan Asanto because he's given the proper due credit to his instructor Bruce Lee and always has had it not been for Bruce Lee we wouldn't know who Dan was Dan appeared in one of Bruce Lee's films Game of Death now I have to say this this is a big one right here. Bruce Lee's instructor, Ip Man, the renowned Ip Man, 